day in Arizona. Just now, the Arizona Supreme Court issued its opinion in Planned Parenthood v. Mays, upholding one of the most extreme abortion bans in the country. The near total Civil War era ban that continues to hang over our heads only serves to create more chaos for women and doctors in our state. Or another Tuesday in Donald Trump's post Dobbs America. That was Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs speaking after the state's Supreme Court today upheld Arizona's near total ban on abortion care. The law, which was passed in 1864 before women had the right to vote, let that sink in, before Arizona was even a state, has no exceptions for rape, has no exceptions for incest or health of the mother. The law mandates two to five years in prison for any person who aids an abortion. The law goes into effect in two weeks. Governor Hobbs says that her office will not prosecute doctors who help women obtain abortion health care, a protection that could disappear if she leaves office. Arizonans' hopes now rest on a ballot initiative which would enshrine abortion access in the state's constitution. Last week, organizers announced that they have more than the required number of signatures to appear on the ballot in the fall. Joining us now, Chris Love. She is the senior advisor for Arizona for Abortion Access. That is the group working to put the amendment on the ballot. Barb is with us as well. Um, Chris, thank you for, for being here. What happens between 14 days from now and the fall? Do women in Arizona have to live under this draconian law until some relief could be passed? A short answer is yes. Um, I, um, I think it's important to note that right now, abortion is still legal in the state and the doors to all of our uh, provider clinics are still open. We want to dispel any misinformation that's out there and help with some of the confusion. However, because of the ruling today, um, clinics will be required to wind down services um, in that two week period. So um, it is a dark day and a devastating day for Arizonans uh, because of this heinous decision by our court. Uh, the Biden campaign today released this statement, quote, this comes just one day after Donald Trump looks straight into a camera and bragged that he is, quote, proudly the person responsible for overturning Roe and enabling the extreme dangerous bans that have followed, including in Arizona. The Arizona Supreme Court agrees. They cited the Dobbs decision 22 times in today's opinion. What will happen to women in Arizona in 14 days? Well, um, those that need abortion care will have to seek that care outside of the state unless they can somehow prove that there is some sort of access emergency, emergency with their pregnancy. Um, and so essentially abortion goes dark here in the state of Arizona and folks will need to access abortion elsewhere. Uh, what is the um, status of your efforts to have a ballot initiative before the voters of Arizona. And I should say 62% um, of all um, citizens of Arizona believe abortion should be legal in most or all cases. 81% uh, of all Americans believe abortion should be left up to a woman and her doctor. Um, so it looks like if, if the ballot initiative is before the voters, 62% of, of citizens of the state certainly support um, abortion health care remaining or becoming legal again. I guess it would be illegal leading up to November. Um, tell me about the, the, the work behind the ballot initiative, where that stands. Well, as of today, just as we were yesterday, we're moving forward with our campaign. Um, we are required to submit about 384,000 valid signatures from Arizona for voters to qualify for the ballot in November. Last week, we were happy to announce that we have collected over 500,000 signatures, and we will collect until our signatures are due July 3rd. And our hope is that we collect more than double the amount of signatures required to qualify for the ballot. Um, which is sort of tracking with what we're seeing in other states. Barbara, I want to show you um, Beth Ballman. She's a volunteer um, working on, on this ballot initiative, Arizona for Abortion Access, on today's ruling. 
I'm devastated. I just, I didn't think that they would do this. I really didn't. My niece just told me yesterday that she's pregnant and she's happy about it. She wants to have the baby. It's due in November. And I'm just so afraid for her that she won't be able to get the kind of care that she needs. I mean, I think because of Amanda Zorowski and, and other women telling their stories of the life-threatening access to health care that a pregnant woman gets when laws like this are in place, we all know what, what she's talking about there. And, and I wonder your thoughts. Is this the way it will be? Is this the law of the land? Is this what women in Arizona are stuck with until and unless the ballot initiative passes in the fall? I think the answer is yes. You know, Governor uh, Katie Hobbs has said that she has directed the attorney general of the state of Arizona to refrain from bringing criminal cases against people who perform abortions. But, of course, that is not going to give the kind of assurance that a doctor is going to want when they see this statute now brought back to life that brings with it two to five years in prison. And so it's just not worth it. And I think you're going to have county prosecutors who are going to challenge that decision by the governor to delegate all of that power into the hands of the state attorney general. Those county prosecutors, uh, are, are, there's certainly going to be some who are going to want to zealously enforce this statute. And I think if you're a, a health care provider, you're just not going to risk going to prison uh, in order to perform uh, abortion rights, abortion health care uh, in, in the state of Arizona. So I think that um, until there is a, a ballot initiative, uh, as we heard, there's a period of 14 days of a grace period. Perhaps there is some uh, miraculous legal filing that occurs between now and then when it takes effect. But otherwise, I think that uh, women in Arizona are going to have to look out of state if they want to get the kind of reproductive health care that they need. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.